Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Leonard here from DigitalLearner.com and in today's video, I'm just going to walk you step by step on how to set up the Qubit Live robot on your account so that you can start trading from it. Um, you can start trading with it. Haven't used this robot and then, you know, made some profit from it i believe it's something worth it and if you are out there if you're a member of this platform or you're planning to and you want to start making extra income with the robot then um, this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up that robot on your account so and as you can see on the screen here you can buy this robot for 390 dollars each each of these, whether the trend robot or the, ro the flat robot, you can buy this for $390 each. But if you want to get this for free, that means you need to buy the Qubit Life um, Education License worth $1,000 and above. So if you've made the process of $1,000 and above, that means this robot is there waiting for you to activate. So all you just need to do is to, you know, get the robot to work. So if you have $1,000 back and above or you bought this robot, what you need to do is, you know, go to your Qubit Live account. Once you log into your Qubit Live account, the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and click on menu. When you click on menu, you see robots. When you click on robot, it will bring you to this particular page. And um, if this is your first time of assessing the robot and you have a thousand dollars back and above you will see the three robots here the two of them here instead of showing buy it will show get so all you need to do is just to go ahead and click on the get button and once you click on the get button it opens up this way once it opens up this way whether you, are, you clicked on the trend on the or the, the the flat robot it opens up this way so the two exchanges that this robot can work with efficiently at uh, these two and since the famous is um binance i encourage everybody to have a binance account if you don't have one you just use the link below this video and create one for yourself it is not um it's a free account actually create one for yourself fund the account and then come on come in here to set up the robot and start trading on that account and another thing i should um, uh, let you know here is that in order to trade on your Binance account, the robot does not trade on a, a zero balance. You will need to fund your Binance account. And the more money you have, the more profit you made with your Binance account. So I encourage anybody who wants to set up this robot to have at least a thousand dollars and above on your Binance account. Have at least a thousand dollars and above. It could be more. Even if you can, you want to trade with debt, a hundred thousand dollars, go ahead and fund your account once you fund your account come then you will now come in here to set up the robot so what you need to do now is to go ahead and click on binance once you select binance um it will now ask us to put in the api key and the secret key so what we need to do right now is to go to binance and set up these two keys and come in here to paste them so once you successfully log into your Binance account, one thing you need to do is to click on your profile icon here. Yeah? This icon represents your profile icon. If you're on the mobile phone, it will be showing at the top left hand side. So just click on it. And once you click on it, you come in here to API manager, where they say API management. Click on the API management. So right now we are on the API management um, dashboard or page. So the next thing we need to do now, um, as you can see, I have a, all of the APIs we'll be creating. You'll see all of them listed here. And please take note as you are creating this API key, the API key will be visible, but the secret key, once you leave this page, will, you will no longer access the secret key. So the secret key is shown once to you. And it is now your responsibility to copy that secret key and save it somewhere because if you just create it and then close this page, go and come back, you will not be able to access the secret key again until you create another API key. Please take note of that. So one thing you want to do is to come in here to label your API key. You can go ahead and say Qubit Live Robot or something. 
whatever you want to label your API, the whatever name you want to give to it, go ahead and create and label it here. And once you do that, you click on create API. So go ahead and create API. And, and before the API will be created, we'll be asked to verify our control. The whatever you enabled, if it is email, if it is a phone, if it is Google Authentication, or if it is Google Authenticator, just go ahead and enable whatever, get the code, and then make this visible. So let's go ahead and confirm our email. Let me send the email. Let me send the phone verification. So the next one will now be the API, the Google Authenticator. So I just go ahead and add it up here. After that, you just click on Submit. All right, so those details are submitted successfully. And as you can see here, this is the name of our API key. And this is the API key, and this is the secret key. Please and please, you need to copy the secret key. You will need to copy the secret key. Copy the secret key and save it somewhere because once you exit this page, when you come back, you will see the API key, whatever you've created here. But the only one that will be visible to you will be the API key. The secret key will not be visible. And you will not be able to um, access it any longer. So make sure you copy this um, secret key somewhere and save it somewhere and then copy the API key. So now that we have these details, all we need to do is copy the secret key, come back to Binance, paste the secret key here, then go back again and copy the API key, come back to your Qubit Life account, sorry, Come back to the Kibit Live account, paste the API, API key and paste the secret key. Once you paste these details, the next thing you will not need to do is to click on add. Your own button here will be showing add is because I've set up this already. That's why it's showing a did key. So it will show you add key. Just click on it. Once it's added, the next thing you want to do is to set these other things that you are seeing here. On my own strategy, I actually set it up as some um, high risks. Now, there are three different strategies that by, um, Keep It Live recommends for you. The low risk will give you 5% return on your trading. Um, the medium risk gives you 7% return on your trading. And then the high risk gives you 10% um, return. So if I click on this icon here, you see the difference, um, the specification here, low risk. I uh, will give you all of these details. These are all the details on the low risk. And then the high risk is the one I decided to go with. So it is your choice to make whether you want to go um, with the high risk, low risk, or medium risk. Um, but the recommended um, risk is to go, the recommended strategy is the medium strategy. So you can go with that. And then the next one you want to choose is the crypto pay. I decided to go with BTC USDT. So I decided to go with BTC USDT. You can, you can go with BTC Ethereum or B, uh, Ethereum USDT. All of those. Once you click on this, you see the drop down. So choose any pair you want to. And then on the time frame, we have four hours and one day. So I decided to go with four hours. And automatically, with the API key and the secret key um, added here, automatically um, this robot will automatically, you know. Um, pulling your available balance on your Binance account here. So you'll be seeing the available balance here. And once you see the available balance here, you, it will not tell you the trade size will not be either 10%. If you are using high risk, it will be 10% of your balance. So what this simply means is that every trade carried out, the trade will not carry out, um, the robot will not carry out a trade more than, and will not use more than 10% of your balance. At a particular time to whenever a trade is open on your account so it's going to be this is the trade size whatever trade there that this robot carries us on your account it will be this 10 percent of whatever balance you have on your account so the high risk robot the high risk strategy uh, you know has the option of trading more than it, um, the medium and the the low risk the low risk strategy so whatever you decide here, you if it is the medium risk you go with, that means it will be trading with 7%. Each trade size will be 7% of your balance. 
if it is low risk it means here that the trade size will be um, each trade carried out on your account will be five percent of whatever your balance is so i decided to go with the strategy the high risk and that is why you are seeing ten percent of my balance that is what the trade size is going to be trading on so after that you just click on you know the save button here to actually save all of your changes and basically that is it and the robot doesn't trade every day so you don't set up the robot and then start looking at it every day it does not trade every day normally this return of five seven or ten percent is supposed to be on a monthly basis so after a week or two you can come check the uh, you know how the robot is you know the result the robot is getting and all this kind of stuff so basically this is supposed to be like an additional income added to what you are already earning on 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 the uh, qubit live platform because whatever you invest in qubit live you get 250 percent return and then the robot is given to you to trade on your binance to get additional income if you don't want to use the robot the other option is to buy you know subscribe to their signals but the signal means that whenever you get a signal you need to you know come back to um your binance account and then go ahead and, and trade and start trading those things yourself so basically that is all about step-by-step -step guide on how to set up this robot on your account there are no difficulties here and before another thing i have to mention here is so one last thing i i, I need to mention here is when you come to your wallet and go to your spot wallet basically whatever balance you are having on your binance account should be on your spot wallet whatsoever balance i repeat that again whatsoever balance you are having on your binance that you want the robot to be trading with should be on your spot wallet when i come in here to wallet you see all of these different wallets here um so your main wallet is going to be um where you'll be doing deposit and withdrawals from and the rest will be your spot wallet so make sure whatsoever balance you have should be on this spot wallet and once that balance is on the spot wallet you want to convert make sure if it is in btc make sure you convert it to bit um to usdt uh, in order for the robot to trade with it make sure you convert it to usdt because the the robot will be using those um, usdt balance to buy either bitcoin or ethereum or server except you want to trade pairs like ethereum btc that is when you need to have your balance in btc but if you want to trade usdt btc um you need to have that balance in usdt to be able uh, for the robot to be able to buy usdt bitcoin and then sell back to usdt and so on so you need to have that balance on on, on in, in usdt if you don't have it in usdt all you just need to do is to come in here to where it says trade and go to convert but before you do this you must have balance in your binance account already so go to trade and once you go to trade you click on convert when you click on convert it brings you to this particular page where it will tell you what are you converting you are converting from what to what so in this case if i want to convert from btc to usdt all i just need to do is you know change this swap this i say btc here and then i want to convert it to usdt so whatever it is if it is your btc balance you just click on max or whatever amount you want to start trading with you click on it put in the amount here and it will tell you the equivalent in in usdt and all you just need to do is to preview the conversion and convert it so you will now have your balance on in usdt and then the robot can now start trading with it so because it is this balance you have in usdt that is what the robot will pull out here as your balance the usdt balance you have on your binance account will be what the robot is going to pull out here as your balance so you must make sure you have that usdt in your um binance account um to be able to set up this robot and start trading with it so basically that is um the step-by-step -step guide on how setting up this robot and if you are new to my channel consider subscribing because i create more content like this on um, a weekly basis and if you want to be a part of this i believe you might have been hearing of keep it live keep it live keep it live and you want to be a part of this well there will be links in the video description where you can go learn more and join our weekly zoom meetings and you know even join our whatsapp group to you know get more updates on what 
a way forward of using and, and benefiting from the Keep It Live platform. So I'll see you next in my next video.